Hi everybody, this is Steve Levetkin from the CompuSchmooze column in the Jewish Community Voice and welcome to CompuSchmooze video podcast number three. In this podcast, we're supplementing our current column in the Jewish Community Voice. It's a review of a new program that'll help you get your receipts and documents better organized it's called The Neat Desk and a little bit of background is necessary. If you have been through the airports around the country over the last couple of years, you've probably seen a kiosk where they're selling something called the Neat Receipts Scanner. It's designed for busy traveling executives to scan their receipts into a database so that they can quickly turn around an expense report for clients or their companies when they return from a business trip. It's a great idea and it works kind of well, except for one major limitation in our minds. The NEAT receipts package contains a scanner that's a single feed, single sided scanner, which means every receipt you scan you have to manually insert into the scanner and it's a real time waster in terms of uh, actually the, getting the workflow uh, going to get your receipts into the database. It does a great job once you get them into the database, but it's rather time consuming because you tend to scan a receipt and then edit the data for that receipt. The Neat Company, which makes Neat Receipts, is a Philadelphia-based company. They've got a new product out. It's called Neat Desk, and Neat Desk is rather neat. It does something that you don't get with the Neat Receipts single feed scanner. It has a multiple page automatic document feed scanner that comes with the package that lets you scan business cards, receipts, and other documents in a single pass. It actually has three separate uh, custom trays built into the automatic document feeder that let you mix and match all those different sizes of documents in a single pass. What's nice about that is once you scan all of the paper into the system, the Neat Desk software on the computer sets up a workflow that lets you m go through the images and do the editing in a single process. So you have all of the images at one time and you put all of the images together and get the data into your database. What's great about the process is that it creates some very, very useful expense reports you can allocate by client or by vendor and produce all kinds of reports for tax purposes. And it attaches the data in the database to the actual images of the documents in a format that's approved by the IRS. So for your record keeping, for your business, or for your uh, professional life, it's a great way to get that stuff onto the computer and get rid of the paper. There are a couple of things that we don't like about the neat desk product. Um, a couple of limitations. They're minor, but they are uh, uh, some of the limitations that we found. Number one is you need to use the neat desk scanner that comes with the software. The software doesn't work with any of the other um, currently available automatic document feed scanners. We think it would be great if it did, but it currently doesn't. So you have to use their scanner, which means purchasing the entire package. The other limitation we found is that the paper guides on the document feeder itself on the scanner are not adjustable. And as a result, if you put a document into the document section of the feeder that's smaller than letter size, it has a tendency to shift its uh, position in the, in the feeder. And so you have to watch that so that it doesn't kind of, you know, turn sideways or jam in some way as it's going through the feeder. But other than that, we thought it was a great way to get your documents and receipts onto the computer. It also does a very respectable job with business cards. We like that because uh, the more popular business card scanner programs that are on the market rely on, a, again, a dedicated scanner that only does business cards. So in terms of versatility, this gives you a great opportunity to get your documents, your business cards, and your receipts onto the computer and get going from there. So thanks for joining us. This is Steve Levetkin for the CompuSchmooze podcast. See you soon.